In this video, we're going to take our maze and we're going to work with a monster all. And basically what the monster all does is the monster all is going to go in all directions. So let's go back to our game and take a look at what we've done so far. We've got the monster up and down and the monster up and down was quite easy. We created it. We started moving up and down. If it hits a wall, it does a U-turn collides with a person it restarts a room and for the monster left and right here let's take a look at that one it does the exact same thing except for when it is created it moves left and right fairly straightforward the monster all is going to be similar so what I'm going to do is if I right click on monster uh, left and right for example I can go duplicate and I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it object monster all. I'll give it the sprite of the monster all sprite. And it's pretty well going to do the same thing. Move left and right, but it's also going to move up and down. Collides with a person, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to restart the room. But where it gets challenging is what happens if it hits a wall? Because I can't just say reverse a horizontal. That's not going to work. I can't say that because if we look at our game, what happens is I don't know if he's going left or right or up and down. In the beginning, I do know it's going to have to go left in this uh, example because I've got my monster and I placed him right here on the screen. So he's going to need to go left. He's going to move to the left. But what's going to happen is he's going to hit this wall here. And so what I'm going to do is when he hits the wall, he's got a collision, he's going to make a decision. And what his decision is going to be is he's going to decide if he hits a wall, can he move uh, to the left? So what I'm going to do with that one is I'm going to um, say, great, if he hits the wall, can he move 90 degrees? And 90 direction plus 90 would be this. So I'm going to say, can he move this way? And indeed he can. So how would I program that? Well, let's take a look at how that would work. So what I'm going to do is when I collide with a wall, I'm going to set the direction to be the direction I'm going plus 90 degrees. And plus 90 is going to make him turn to, in this case, the left. And I'm going to continue with my speed of four. But I don't know if that is truly uh, capable. And this, this particular game I do because I know when I hit the wall, yes, I can turn left. So he can turn left. But if he couldn't turn left, so um, that's going to be fine in here. And so what I can do is in Game Maker, I'll say um, for Monster All, if you hit the wall, set the direction. And then what I want to do is I can exit the event. And you're going to see exit the event is right here. Uh, but really, I don't know for sure that I can. So I'm going to ask a question before I can. And I'm going to say, is it empty? And so relative to where I am. So this time I put relative. I didn't previously, but this time I'll put relative. And so relative where I am, x coordinate, I want to test my horizontal speed because I don't know if I'm uh, gonna check empty to the left, to the right, or to the up, or to the down. But what I will do is I'll use built-in variable. The built-in variable called h speed is how fast I'm moving to the left or to the right. So if I say x of h speed, it's going to check the x coordinate if h is not zero. So h will be positive four if I'm moving to the right. So we'll check to the right if I'm moving uh, that way. If I'm moving to the left, x will be negative four. So we would check to the left of where I am for being empty. Now, if it's not, if I'm not moving left or right, I'm moving up and down. Um, instead, the variable h speed will be zero, but the variable v speed will have value. So in this case, if I'm moving up, the value of y would be negative four. So I'd be checking that it's empty above me. And if I'm moving down, the V speed would be positive four, so it would check below me. And so that's how the H and V speed variables work. They're gonna have a value of zero if I'm not 
if it's not uh, moving and a value of positive four if my speed is uh, moving um, in the positive direction of four or negative four if I move in the negative direction. So again, H speed is negative four for left, positive four for right, and zero if I'm moving up and down. Uh, v speed is gonna be positive four if I'm moving down, negative four if I'm moving up, or zero if I'm moving left or right or stopped. And so we set that speed of four right here. So I don't know if the speed is gonna be H speed or V speed. Uh, in this case, I just know that when I change direction, um, the speed is gonna be four in whatever direction I'm moving, whether it's H speed or V speed. Okay, let's go back and take a look at my picture here so we see what's happening. So now my ghost is going up and he's gonna hit the wall again. So just like last time, it's gonna to wanna to move to the left. But you'll see, I can't move to the left because there's a wall. So this event would not work. Um, what it would do, it'd say, great, set the direction to be direction plus 90. Direction plus 90, as I said, would be um, a left-hand turn. Uh, for example, uh, direction plus 90 would be my turn plus 90. So in this case, it would be trying to move this way. So I'd be trying to move to the left. Uh, I'd be trying to move this way. I couldn't move this way, right? There's a wall here. So what the computer is going to do next is do another calculation. And so instead of exiting the vent, it's gonna keep trying to do stuff. And in this case, I can say, great. Now I want you to move direction plus 180 at a speed of four. Notice relative is not on here. So direction plus 180. So let's go back to here and see what direction plus 180 would be. So if this is the direction I tried originally, it hit the wall again, it wasn't free because in this particular case, H speed would have been negative four. So it would check to see if there's something to the left. There is, there's a wall, there's a wall right here. So what I would do is it would then say add 100 and 80 degrees. So there's 90 would be down, 180 is now gonna be this way. And is it possible to move this way? And indeed, yes it is. This guy can move this way. So let's go back and, and uh, take a look at how that would look, look. So what we do is in control, I add check if it's empty. I use the variable H speed for the X coordinate, V speed for the Y coordinate relative to where I am. I want to check those values and if those values are indeed good let's exit the event so let's go back and take a look at what that would be so i'm going to check empty this way and indeed if i check empty h speed is positive four because it's going to check here so is positive four empty yes it is positive four is empty what about uh, V speed? V speed is zero because I'm not moving up and down. It just was moving this way. So is it anything at zero? No, of course not. It's on the same level. It's not gonna check below. So V speed would be zero. So it's gonna keep moving. Now, um, I should uh, imagine in this game, what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, uh, change this a little uh, for explanation uh, purposes here. But suppose, I had this and I had um, on here, suppose I had uh, the wall was like this. Suppose my wall went all the way through here and I had wall here too. Suppose this is the, what the room was like. Well, what would happen here is it's gonna collide. It's going to try to turn left first. So what it's going to try to do is it's going to, um, it's gonna try to turn left. So the first thing it's going to do is gonna see if it can turn 90 degrees. Can it turn 90 degrees? No, you can see clearly there's a wall there. So it won't do that. Then it's gonna try to turn 180. 
So it's going to try to turn this way. Can it turn uh, in this direction? No, there's a wall there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, obviously if you can't turn left or you can't turn right, do a reverse, which would be negative 90. And so finally, one last thing I need to do is just go to move and say, I know if you're this far, you can't turn left, you can't turn right. So let's just go direction minus 90 degrees. And I know that will work. I'm going to press play and there's actually one other mistake I've got to uh, change here, but uh, you'll see in my game, um, I'll put the monster in here and you'll see he should move uh, just like uh, I said he would. I'll put the monster all right here and maybe I'll put the walls up here uh, like I should have done uh, just for testing purposes so you'll see he'll bounce back. But it's not going to quite work. There's one other thing I need to adjust here. The other thing I'm going to need to adjust is something called the bounding box. And so when he press, when he moves, you're going to see it worked, but then he did a uh, roundabout and you'll see very slightly. He just moves a little bit in this space because the sprite has a bit of space to the left and right. And so what it does, it tries to turn left real quick. It does. It turns left and then it tries and it hits a wall and it turns left again. And so what I need to do here is actually modify the sprite, believe it or not. And so what I do in the sprite is I say, don't use precision checking. And instead, for the bounding box, make the whole area that looking for the collision, not just where it's invisible uh, and where it's visible rather, but the whole area. And so that's what bounding box of full images means. And that's what unchecking that does. And you'll see in this example now, it's going to work exactly like I, I wanted it to. There's one thing I'm also going to change here as well. Um, so you'll see it works, it works, and it works just like we thought. It's going to keep doing the 180 turns, so it's going to check left, yep, it's going to check left, nope, right, yep, left, right, nope, and then re uh, reverse. So one last thing I want to do to the object Monster All uh, in this game is in Monster All, I'm going to put an event here called Step. And in the Step event, what I want to do is... I want to see if it's in the grid. So if it's in the grid, every once in a while, it'll be perfectly lined up in the grid. And when it's lined up in the grid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to say every eight grids. So a chance in one in eight when it's in the grid, I want you to randomly move a different direction. And this will just give it a little bit of variation so we won't always get stuck in the same pattern. So we just, uh, to recap what we did, we did the third monster. We covered the collision motion, which can be a little bit tricky. And we also uh, did this step here um, that we unchecked precision collision checking.